what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, in this video we are going to talk about these i mean gsp 3.1 or type c or both yes so if you have this question like what is usb 3.1 or what is usb type c what is the difference between 3.1 and type c um what is usb 3.1 power delivery and uh, maybe how thunderbolt is different from usb 3.1 or even if they are different right and uh, is it backward compatible with other usb standards so keep watching this video i'll give all the answers to you and uh, if you are not interested then definitely you can watch other videos but if you are excited then uh, press the like button right now and also subscribe to the channels if you are not the subscriber so uh, usb 3.1 okay so recently i bought this pixel 4 xl um, and it comes with you know usb type c support i also have a macbook pro or even the new macbook air or other macbook pros also supports type c i mean this is the only method even new surface laptops supports type c also um, i have a monitor which is uh, by lenovo so lenovo monitor is again supports type c to actually share my screen from my laptop to my monitor which means i don't have to use hdmi cable i mean so there's just one cable which i can use for all of these devices but there's a difference i mean you know uh, let's say i have this charger which is a macbook pro charger 87 watt and uh, should i use any kind of usb type c cable with this which can charge my laptop so no maybe no because you know you need a specific type c cable to charge this so that's why this video is important for you and we'll talk about everything so yes first of all what is usb 3.1 so usb 3.1 is a new standard of uh, usb connection technology and uh, yeah there are some features which it provides like um, super speed plus or so called second generation data okay second gen data or whatever they call it and um, it provides some additional benefits like power delivery alternate video mode and uh, obviously high speed data transfer so it can give the data transfer speed of 10 gbps which is huge right i mean it's it's like more than anything you want because you can just transfer thousands of um, gbs in few minutes or maybe i mean thousands of mbps data in few seconds which means like thousands of songs so yeah that's the one thing now what is the difference between usb 3.1 and type c so when these guys were developing this usb 3.1 standard at the same time they were developing this reversible type c connector so if you'll just see let me just show you um this is the cable i have and if you will see this portion then you know if you already have used type c then you can insert it from any direction which means you don't have to care about it and even the second part i mean both the directions are the same both the ends are the same which means you can use any end so yeah that's what we call reversible type c connector so when uh, they were developing this 3.1 they were developing this too so yes usb 3.1 is a standard and usb type c is a connector which facilitates this technology which is usb 3.1 so that's the difference now this type c has some benefits as well i mean um, it can help you in high data transfer and it also makes sure the device and host negotiation which means you know um, controlling the power and all those things which means um your power should not be overloaded and all this stuff so there are some rules which they need to follow now when we talk about the rules then comes what is usb 3.1 power delivery so basically this usb type c cable supports um 20 volts at 3 ampere which means 60 watts of power and uh, there's a new standard which we called power delivery so what is power delivery so it's a new standard which can help you in getting 20 volts at 5 ampere which means 100 volts of power and yes this you know this particular charger is 87 volts so we need it right 
so even if you will see the macbook from this angle okay where it is so in at some angle maybe this one right then you will see that you know it has some the rules written here that you know input is should be this, this then volts ampere and watts so you can definitely check it out now um, when we talk about power delivery so these cables these new cables like this type c cable which you can see here they have to you know um, control this power using an embedded chip which they call e marker so that they can follow the rules which means you know they can control the power and uh, the high data transfer can be possible because of that now um, because of this power delivery you can charge your devices so that's that's a benefit i mean when it is not allowing power delivery then you cannot charge your device so yeah so usb 3.1 has this thing as well now um is it i mean what is the difference exactly so usb 3.1 is an upgrade over usb 3.1 first gen uh, usb 3.0 and uh, you know usb 2.0 as well which just gives you 480 mbps data speed and usb type c is just a connector which again i explained that it just gives you better high data speed and power control so that's the thing and uh, there's one more thing so um when i talk about sharing my screen with the laptop uh, with the monitor so um this supports 4k resolution so usb 3.1 supports 4k resolution as well as you know that um, alternate video mode so yeah that you can just plug in inside the display port and it works so yeah these kind of things are possible because of this usb 3.1 and the good advantage is that you can use it with any kind of device uh, whether it is um, this macbook any phone power banks so yeah those are the things is it backward compatible yes it is backward compatible with usb 3.0 usb 2.0 as well so thanks to this new encoding technique which they are using and uh, yeah data transfer is pretty high obviously now let's talk about is it different from thunderbolt 3 i'm talking about usb 3.1 so yes it is different because thunderbolt 3 is a technology which is used by apple for their macbooks especially so because iphones are still coming with um lightning cable yes uh, but i have seen that a new ipad pros the 2018 one comes with usb type c and let me just show you so this is my macbook if you can see it yes so here you can see we have like two usb type c ports here and uh, two on this side as well right in macbook air you will find just two so these are not the regular usb type c ports these are uh, thunderbolt ports so uh, thunderbolt port is again so thunderbolt is again a technology which is again use using usb type c connectors so that you know it's very easy to get one and uh, you can just plug and play now what is the difference between usb uh, 3.1 and thunderbolt 3 is that thunderbolt 3 is even better i mean it can deliver the speed up to 40 gbps and 100 watts of power so when i talk about these watts and also uh, one interesting thing here is that on my um, this particular charger this macbook 87 watt it says let me just read it for you the 20.2 volts at 4.3 ampere or 9 volts at 3 point uh, at 3 ampere and 5.2 volt at 2.4 ampere which means the first one will give me uh, 100 watts of power or 87 watts of power the second one will give me 27 watts of power and the third one will give me around um, 12 or 15 watts of power now let's understand what is volts ampere and power in a short like short term so um let me just explain so let's say if this cable is let's say it's a pipe and rather than electricity the water is flowing so the volume of the water inside this pipe would be volts and the pressure of the power uh, of the water inside this pipe would be ampere and the output which we will get would be the power or watts so yeah that's that's the short brief 
सो बेसिकली वॉट्स इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम सॉरी वॉल्ट्स इन टू एम्पियर सो वॉल्ट्स इन टू एम्पियर इक्वल टू वॉट्स सो येस सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग ट्वेंटी वॉट्स एट थ्री एम्पियर विच मीन्स ट्वेंटी इंटू थ्री इजक्वल टू सिक्सटी वॉट्स ऑफ पावर सो नाउ सो बेसिकली इफ आई वॉन्ट एटी सेवन वॉट्स ऑफ पावर फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर चार्जर देन आई नीड अराउंड ट्वेंटी पॉइंट टू वॉट्स ऑफ सो ट्वेंटी पॉइंट टू वॉट्स एट फोर पॉइंट थ्री एम्पियर देन ओनली आई कैन गेट यू नो एटी सेवन वॉट्स ऑफ पावर बट इफ माई केबल लेट से दिस इज द केबल इफ इट इज नॉट यूज विथ थ्री पॉइंट वन देन आई प्रॉब्लली वॉन्ट गेट इट बिकॉज इन द अर्लियर वर्जन ऑफ यू एस पी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो और इवन यू एस पी टू पॉइंट जीरो यू कैन नॉट गेट इट आई मीन देर इज नो पावर डिलीवरी सपोर्ट सो विच मीन्स विद यू एस पी थ्री पॉइंट वन जनरेशन वन यू कैन गेट ओनली सिक्सटी वॉट्स मैक्सिमम सो इट्स वेरी मच कंपल्सरी फॉर यू टू गेट यू एस पी थ्री पॉइंट वन इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर देन सिक्सटी वॉट्स वॉट्स ऑफ पावर एंड या so normally if you see macbook air it just needs 30 watts of power so basically you can use um usb 3.0 type c if that's available but i don't think so so most probably you will look for usb 3.1 so if basically you when we talk about power delivery it also or this reversible type c connector make sure that your device does not get let's say power overload loaded or maybe it can burn or something like that it, it, it doesn't let that happen because it controls everything there are some set of rules which they need to follow in to support power delivery so that's a good thing but if you are not using a right usb cable which means not usb 3.1 then your charging speed will be very slow so that's why you cannot use any type c cable so yes you need to make sure and it's it's like most of the time it's written on the cable that what kind of usb um technology it provides whether it is usb 3.1 3.0 or even 2.0 but but i i don't think 2.0 comes with type c so type c is just a connector usb 3.1 is the technology which we talk about here on this channel i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yes one more thing so this pixel 4 xl comes with usb 3.1 as well i mean the support so um this support should also be there i mean if the device or the hardware is not supporting that then it doesn't matter and one more thing a uh, good thing which is about uh, this thunderbolt 3 is that it can deliver the power in both ways which means two devices with one usb cable can charge each other which normal usb 3.1 cannot do i mean i don't think they can do but yes um when you are using usb 3.1 then definitely you can charge your device you can do the data transfer simultaneously and uh, uh what else i mean um you can definitely use the display port for just viewing your screen at 4k resolution and that's the great part i mean so this video was about usb 3.1 type c i hope um most of you could learn something from this video if you did then press the like button right now subscribe to the channel and yes press that bell icon to get future updates and if you have any questions just write me in the comments i'll try to answer you i'm definitely maybe i'm wrong at some point then please let me know in the comments as well because i'm not expert but yes i have read about it and that's why i thought to share with you so thank you guys for watching and i'll see in the next video bye bye take care